we start in Cleveland with all-star forward LeBron James. James returned to the Cavaliers two seasons ago to bring a championship to a city and region that has not experienced a championship since 1964. If they are healthy with Kevin Love, Kyrie Irving, and LeBron James in the lineup, it will fall squarely on James to lead the Cavaliers to that championship that fans have been craving for such a long time. Staying in the Eastern Conference, New York Knicks all-star forward Carmelo Anthony. The Knicks are trying to dig themselves out of some bad seasons. Phil Jackson is president of basketball operations. Derek Fisher is the coach. But on the court, they're counting on Carmelo Anthony to help dig them out of the hole and lead them back to the playoffs. Switching conferences, we go to the Los Angeles Clippers and Chris Paul. Paul is one of the best point guards of his generation, but he has not led his team out of the second round of the playoffs during his career. With Doc Rivers coaching the Clippers, Blake Griffin, DeAndre Jordan, and a cast of talented people alongside Chris Paul, many believe this is Chris Paul's year to lead the Clippers not only to the conference finals, but possibly the NBA finals. We move to Oklahoma City and Kevin Durant. Durant was injured and out of the lineup most of last season, and now as he enters the final year of his contract, he's trying to get the Thunder back to the finals, which he and Russell Westbrook did a few seasons ago. Many thought then that the Oklahoma City Thunder would be a constant in the NBA Finals, but injuries and sometimes better teams have derailed those plans and now we're going to see if a healthy Kevin Durant can get the Thunder back to the finals. And lastly, Golden State Warriors guard Steph Curry. It's odd to think that there's a lot of pressure on Steph Curry after winning MVP, after helping the Warriors to the finals. But if the Warriors are going to return to the Western Conference Finals and win another championship, Steph Curry needs to be just as good or even better than he was a year ago.